Okay, in this video we're going to talk about something called morphing operations. Morphing operation is a different operation applied to a mask to create a new mask. And this is this little uh, purple icon at the top. So the different morph morphing operations available are erode, dilate, open, and close. Um, you can just play around to see what they actually do. Uh, number of pixels, number of pixels influenced. There's different connectivities, 8 and 26. Uh, a good way to explain this is with a picture. 8 connectivity, eight connectivity is a, a planar influence and a 26 connectivity is a 3D influence between each pixel or voxel looked at. So for this example I'm just going to use the green mask and we're going to dilate it which will slightly kind of increase the thickness all the way around the mask. Um, target new mask I use two pixels influence in 3D and see what happens. Okay so as you can see it's uh, just a little bit thicker all the way around. Um, this might have been probably too many pixels to use as an influence, but uh, it worked as an example. Okay, another really easy way to edit masks is to edit them in 3D. This really allows you to see what's really going on. So here I'm going to edit the orange mask, which was created before using cavity fill. Uh, you just click edit mask in 3D up here. And you have to move which region you want to look at. Let's just look at an entire cross section of the hand, somewhere in the middle. Okay, so now we've got the 3D representation. Uh, you can just hold down the right button to turn it. Um, if you hold on the right button and hold shift, you can pan. Uh, if you press spacebar in the window, it maximizes it. So 3D edit, you can zoom in. And for instance, if I want to remove this little slice, I can just select it. And then it shows that it's selected and I can remove. I can do the same thing over and over again. Pretend that wasn't supposed to be there and just remove it and remove it. So this allows you to easily remove and see the physiological what you want to remove. So I probably want to remove all of this if I was trying to free the fingers up.